good evening good evening everyone good uh, good morning to everyone those who are seeing this live program today is the blessing day because in our midst our guest speaker reverend uh, kunal mukherji he is going to preach the word of god uh, he he is leading the ministry eliazer ministry international so let's invite him and let's listen the word of god and uh, uh with prayerful let's listen the word of god pastor over to hallelujah. you pastor praise the lord hallelujah greetings to all of you in jesus name on behalf of our ministry it is our ministries international hyderabad and my family and special greetings to pastor mehra and sister maryam and all of you there watching in jesus name this evening i am i feel myself so honored and blessed to bring the word of god online and we know that as jesus said the last days will be the will be the gospel preached to all the world hallelujah and then the end will come so we are here today online whoever is watching this program online i pray that you will be blessed and i tell you the holy spirit will convict you holy spirit will minister to you and it'll be it'll be it'll be definitely taken in into another dimension another phase of your life today in jesus name hallelujah can you say hallelujah hallelujah ri la kasha kala la va shandara va let us pray father in jesus name we bow our heads before you this evening master as we are here assigned to bring your word to the people whoever have been a god watching this program and listening to your words lord prepare their hearts to receive your words and as you o lord god anoint me brother i pray that you god you will definitely allow the words to come out of my mouth yes the powerfully and principally and the way that the holy spirit will, will lead me yes lord jesus and it will touch many hearts many souls and many things lord and it will definitely see that oh god you are going to do the things in your way of master this evening is the evening of blessings from your oh lord from your heavenlies and we look to you lord god as the word comes we thank you we praise you master jesus come down and touch us or is paid move around surround us and give us a special anointing so that the myself and everyone there be blessed in jesus precious name we pray amen this evening i have the word for everyone there as the lord spoke to me through his holy spirit the main thing that jesus has spoken to us about is a relationship he has not spoken about a religion jesus has never preached a religion jesus came here 2000 years ago in his earthly ministry for three and a half years three years and a half he talked about his father's kingdom come and the kingdom come principally on principle basis it means that the relationship is established on the day of creation the first day of creation god started beginning something which has been happening even to today and also god had created a man and a woman to his image and the dominion multiply and the same eternal god that the god almighty the first and the last the alpha the omega jehovah god jesus christ hallelujah is speaking to us in the last days that be fruitful be multiply multiply and be fruitful and 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 he is he is definitely making a connection creating a connection between the creator and the created my friends this in i just want to encourage you that your identity is something great you are not ordinary people you are not an ordinary person you are an extraordinary touch your chest and say i am extraordinary hallelujah you are an extraordinary person created by jesus christ fearful and wonderfully made i tell you something today that during this last 27 years of walking with the lord and 17 years in the direct ministry with the holy spirit i tell you what i have gathered yes that are the fragments from around the many from around many nations of this world and today the title of this message is you are complete in jesus let us quickly turn our bibles to the book of colossians chapter 2 verse 10 it says you are complete in jesus my friends whoever is there you just touch your chest lift your hand 
and say, I am complete, I am complete in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You are a complete person. Because Jesus, Jesus was a complete God. And verse 9 says, the fullness of God hate. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the God hate body. I'm using KGG, the King says God's authorized. And I tell you, as I read from the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 10, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of our principalities and power. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the head of our principalities and power, my friend. And as you, according to the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 29, you are created in the image of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are complete. You are a complete person. When you follow Jesus, when you start believing in Jesus, you have the power of Jesus Christ. He said, the, oh, oh, hallelujah. He says, he said that the all authority and power has been given to me. And again, he said to his disciples that I give you the same power. Hallelujah. Whatever I have been doing, you will do the same thing. And I, even better things you will do. My friends, you are complete in Jesus. You are not at all incomplete. You are not unfulfilled. There is a fulfillment in your life. Because of Jesus Christ who went to the cross, who is death, burial, and resurrection power. And he is here today, alive and interceding for each one of us. And by that, you and I are being made alive, being made complete. Hallelujah. You are complete in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us quickly read the other verse. Yes, chapter, chapter 2, verse 9 of Colossians. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the God and bodily. Yes, in Jesus alone. In Jesus alone lies all the fullness of God. Hallelujah. You and I are having the fullness of God. When we follow Jesus, when we believe in Jesus, when we are convicted by the Holy Spirit, empowered by the anointing, and we know, we know, we know, and we believe, we believe, we believe, and we must confess that we have a completeness in us. We are not incomplete people. We are. I am not an incomplete person. You are not an incomplete person, my brother, my sister. I want to encourage you today that you have a power, you have an authority from the heavenlies by Jesus Christ the Lord, who is not a dead God, who is a living God, who is alive, and he is alive, and he is alive. Say, Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. And he is alive. He is looking at you, he is looking for you, he is watching over you, and he is trying to take you into him. He's trying to take you by his side and say, come my, my, come, my child, come. Come unto me. All you who are heavily labored and burdened, you come unto me and I will give you rest. In the world, there are so many problems. In the world, so many confrontations. In the world, there are so many things happening, maybe contrary to your smooth living. But I tell you something today with my personal experience. Yes, in Jesus Christ for the last 27 years, that you and I are complete in him. Hallelujah. There is no power that can stand against us when you stand in Jesus. Say, stand in Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, let us, let us quickly land on our eyes to the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verses 11, 12, and 13. Verse 11 says, In whom also we are circumcised with the circumcision. Hallelujah. Made without hands. Circumcision made without hands in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 12 says, buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are chosen to reason with him. There through the through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. And 13 says, and you and you being dead in your sins. And, and this uncircumcision of your flesh hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful word God has given to us. Circumcision. Hallelujah. We are talking about the completeness of God. The complete is a Greek complete. The Greek word of complete is kutaritesis. Kutaritesis or kutaritesis. Hallelujah. It means completeness, fullness. So when we when we walk with Jesus, when we get into the relationship with Jesus, he takes us to his father and he makes us a complete person, as I told you. And he says that you are mine as I am complete, as me and my father are one. Hallelujah. John chapter 10 verse 30 says, you are my me and my father are one, hallelujah. And he says that you and me are one, you are no longer a slave, 
you are no longer an you are, you are no longer an ordinary person you are washed by my blood you are anointed by the holy spirit to my ascent after my resurrection and today i tell you my friends that you are going to be anointed by the holy ghost power hallelujah ri kala shandara shi kala badala bala bala baba hallelujah hallelujah friends you maybe i tell you i don't know who is watching over it but anyone who is watching on this program maybe any of you maybe highly educated maybe one of you placed in a highly corporate yes lot they spent but i tell you something after all you are human being after all you are human being created by god in his image but this world has been captivating us has been controlling us in many ways that's why he says that you are not circumcised hallelujah you are not circumcised hallelujah by anything else but you are circumcised by 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 the power of the blood by the power of resurrection by the power of the word hallelujah in jesus name hallelujah i thank you all that you are hearing this message and i tell you something that today that today the circumcision of the heart is a is a covenant between god and his people hallelujah meaning hallelujah meaning trusting jesus and the sacrifice of the cross jesus is the only one he was not a religious preacher he has never spoken about the religion he he who went to the cross no other religious preacher no other saint no other god no other goddess on this planet earth or in the heaven they say that has ever gone to the cross and broke himself in pieces it is only jesus christ i come back from a strange faith of different mythology different community i belong to for 42 years of my life i used to believe in i used to believe in the supernatural powers i used to look for something must come down some god or goddess must come and touch me and tell me that i am he is our heart child but one day it so happened in my life but to the context i tell you i didn't have any lack in my life i was i was educated i had a good family i had good jobs but i had certain things which i did not know that i was getting into the vortex the middle of sins that i was committing but one day it so happened in my life that i had decided to commit suicide of frustration disappointment my own conscience was speaking me it was not that i was not aware of the facts that was happening with me i wanted to commit suicide and that is the day jesus comes and says no 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 you cannot do that because i have made you mine and you are complete in me hallelujah la la shakha la 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 ba 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 yes you are complete in him. the life that you are passing may be a life of life of problems maybe so many things are surrounding you maybe so many things are torturing you maybe so many things are tormenting you but i want to i want to just encourage you today my friend that jesus christ is making you complete circumcising you you circumcision is the word that tells you that you when you trust in jesus you when you believe in jesus when you are convicted by the holy spirit jesus christ takes you takes hold of you and he anoints you with the holy spirit and the holy spirit gives you the power to walk with jesus in the fullness of life this life in this earth this life on this planet earth is temporary apostle paul says we are just temporary citizens of this planet earth we have got a place we have got a place that jesus has made for us that is in heaven one day we have to go there one day we have to be there with jesus but you have to qualify before that my friends how can you go to a holy place how can i go to a holy, holy place when we are not yes we are not made holy hallelujah that's why the god himself came down on from the heaven became one of us dwelt among us that's the word the verse the bible says that he dwelt among us yes as one of us manifested the glory of the father and he went to the cross he broke himself in pieces he shed his precious blood and washed us clean and gave us a new life a life of completeness and that's how we are complete hallelujah you may be having sickness you may be having financial problems you may be having so many things i tell you something i have myself confirm i am talking to you about my personal life i am talking to you about something that during this last 27 years of walking with jesus i have confronted with i have seen many things many struggles many times many troubles have come and overpowered me and my family but today when i look to jesus when i look back what all sufferings i had undergone i i just only thank jesus my god who went to the cross 
when and then he went to be, where he was buried and then he resurrected hallelujah he was resurrected hallelujah for my completeness to be achieved and accomplished in my personal life and i want to encourage you whoever has been watching on this program watching on this program i just want to encourage you my brother my sister that you have been planned by jesus you have a destiny and that destiny is formed is done even before you were formed in your mother's womb you do not know you might be science may say many things but but the bible speaks about the word of god which is about the science that is no logic that is theology that is no that is no logic that is no philosophy that is beyond everything above everything hallelujah the word of god is yes, a living and powerful sharper than two edged sword yes jesus name hallelujah we come against every power of the darkness we say that in the power of jesus in the power of jesus name in the power of the blood of jesus in the power of resurrection we bind every authorities and the principalities and powers and we say that every man every woman every child whosoever has been remaining incomplete must be made complete this evening as the word goes to them and as the word is speaking to them as the word is as the word is touching them and i tell you today my word my brother my sister who ever online watching this program that you are definitely being made complete a transformation is coming you are on a different fold hallelujah you are in the threshold of a new dimension of a life you are getting into something which is from jesus he loves you He loves you so much. His love is eternal. The Bible says, "God should love the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that anybody believes in Him, nobody perishes but has eternal life." You have a life. You have a life beyond this life. You have a life here on this planet Earth. But after this life ends here in this planet Earth, then what happens? There is a life again. That life is with God, with Jesus. Hallelujah! And He says that I, I am with you from today. for ever more hallelujah the same unchanging jesus the same unchanging jesus yesterday today and forever more his name itself performs a miracle his name itself performs a miracle his name itself works something in our lives which no other name can do the name of our names the, the, the lord of lords the king of kings jesus christ who was born or in the womb of a virgin Virgin, on the virgin girl, Hallelujah! By the power of the Holy Ghost, he did not have any human father, but in the power of the Holy Ghost, he was, he was, he was conceived by a virgin, by a virgin woman, and then he comes out, out, out to this planet Earth, where all the, all the poverty, all, all the struggles, everything, and his own did not receive him. That's the word of God says, and he has been brought up uh, in the midst of so many, so many things which are totally worldly. but jesus christ according to the kind of covenant that he and his father had he one day he came out and he went down the jordan river yes and he was baptized in the water and that is the day that tree on god was made manifested hallelujah the father god opens and opens the heavens doors and says you are my you are my beloved son i am well pleased with you and then the holy spirit comes down on jesus within the form of dove and then jesus christ himself walks up from the water and the bible says in the book of luke chapter 4 for one that jesus came out with the from jordan yes by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah then he went to the wilderness then the wilderness there the devil yes the devil confronted him hallelujah that's what has been happening in our life when you get into life to get into the completeness of yours my jesus the enemy attacks you enemy attacks you when you are in the world you are a human being that's what happened in the in the initial in the beginning of the creation god created adam and eve and he tell them he told them go out i give you all dominion i give you full authority whatever you do but he told them also that don't take the fruit yes don't take the fruit in the middle that the tree that is in the middle of the garden but devil was there and devil knows and devil knew that he had a, he had got somebody who has been chosen by god to do something hallelujah so he wanted to destroy their relationship with god so he attacked them what he attacked at he did not attack in the body he attacked at the heart the mind hallelujah where the god's word was planted when you have the god's words planted in you when you have the god's words in you then the, suddenly something is happening in you and me it has happened with me and you and i suddenly tend to deviate from the god's words and do something of the world in the worldly way 
day, the mind reflects in a different way. Hallelujah. And we walk out of Jesus Christ. But I tell you something today, again with my own personal experiences, that Jesus wants a restoration to take place in your life. He's a God of restoration. Say, I am restored. He has redeemed you by the blood on the cross that he said. He has redeemed you, has purchased you. He has paid a ransom. Hallelujah. And today, and today, and today, be excited to know that you are restored. You are restored. Hallelujah. You are totally restored. Hallelujah. God has sent his son. And the same son is seated next to God, the father. And and interceding for each one of us, and His Holy Spirit is here and moving on this planet Earth to take you into a level of, of something that Jesus has given to you and me the completeness. You are complete in Jesus. Hallelujah. You have the fullness, the fullness that God had sent to us to Jesus the Lord. Jesus, as again, I'm telling you, as I told you at the beginning, never think that Jesus came. There are many, many denominations. There are many preachers, there are many preachings, there are many teachings that but Jesus Christ is only one God. He, is, he has not created any denomination. He's only one God. He's a God of all. He's a Lord of Lords. He's a King of Kings. And He is the God of all mankind. He loves everyone, irrespective of the caste, creed, and religion. He says, You are mine. You are mine. You are created in my image. The way I am made. Hallelujah. Same way you are made. Because their father has called you. But you are called. You are chosen. Hallelujah. When you are chosen by Jesus, there is a purpose. There is a, there is a purpose. What is that purpose? That's what it says. That you have not chosen me. It is me who has chosen you and appointed you to bear fruit. You have to bear fruit. God gives you a testimony in your life. And that testimony is a testimony of being complete in Jesus. I just want to emphasize again that the testimony that God has given you, it is a testimony of completeness of your Christianity. Christianity is an identity, my friend. When you become a Christian, you are not a man of religion. You are a person who has been chosen by God to enter, yes, Lord, identity that God has already planted and planned and destined for you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. Hallelujah. God has a destiny, has kept a destiny ready for you. And that destiny says, you are mine, you are God's. You are chosen by God. You, God has given you something from his heavenlies. Hallelujah. You cannot be, you cannot be, you cannot be remaining incomplete. You are complete. The fullness of God dwells in Jesus. And the same fullness will come. Hallelujah. Somebody, you are highly intellectual. You are highly corporate, you are a highly corporate professional. You might be thinking, I'm well placed. I drive big cars. I stay in a big house. I, I enjoy the worldly comforts and the luxuries. I, I so much to, to all extent. Why should I go to Jesus? Why should I go? But I tell you something. If you kindly take your some time, I tell you to the person who has been thinking like that, I am not mentioning. I with all my respect towards you. Yes, you have something that you would kindly turn this turn your Bible to the book of Mark chapter 8, 36. It says, what profit it will be? What will be the profit? What will it be the profit? What will it profit a man if he earns the whole world, but he loses his own soul? Yes, I was. I was there in the corporate world. I was educated highly. I was having a good life. But I, one day, I, 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 I definitely used to think that, yes, it is all of mine. I have a high status, a big status. I am well famous. I am renowned. Yes, people respect me. Yes, I, I, I stay in comfort. My children are going to good school. Yes, everything is good, 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 good. But I did not know that there is a salvation that I required. There's eternal life that I required. I did not know. I used to, I used to hear about my, from my previous faith. I used to, I used to hear about, I used to hear that, yes, I need a moksha. That is salvation. But how can I achieve that? But the, when I started reading the Bible, when I started coming to know Jesus closely, I understood that, yes, there is a salvation that only Jesus can give. Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 12, that there is no other name on this planet Earth. There is no other name under the heaven that can give us salvation. Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody else can take you 
No, nobody can come to me. Hallelujah to my father. Nobody can come to my father other than me. Hallelujah. Nobody can, nobody, nobody can come to the father other than through me. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ takes you, he takes you to his father. Hallelujah. Last 18 December, my wife went to the Lord. Yes, it was a physical, it was a physical loss. We missed her and we still miss her. Hallelujah. But we know, we rejoice that joy has us taken us. Hallelujah. The glow on her face, on the coffin, on the dead body. We saw that he has glorified Jesus. We understood that Jesus Christ had made complete. Yes, made her complete and taken away as he has finished her race on this planet earth. Friend, today I want to encourage you that one day, one day when you and I will go out on this world, hallelujah, we must understand that that day will be the day that in beginning of a new life, that real completeness, hallelujah, the completeness of the earthly life will start when we follow Jesus. Are you getting me, my friends? Am I speaking to somebody here? Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, I am trying to, I am trying to make you understand that your life of completeness starts here on this planet Earth itself, when you start following Jesus. You are not following a religion. You are not making yourself a convert. You are just following somebody who had shown us the way to heaven, who had shown us the reality of being a human being, who has made us understand the reality of an eternal life. Hallelujah. The life here and the life in the heaven, life after this place. Yes, there are two things. Yes, that Jesus only made us understand, my friend. Hallelujah. We'll Quickly go to some. We'll quickly go to some verses, and then we understand the reality of completeness. We'll we'll open our book of Romans. Yes, and we'll go to the book of book of Romans chapter six, verse four. It says that therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That life as life that life as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of his Father. Even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. The newness of life is the completeness of life. When we are baptized in water. When you are baptized, yes, there is a there is a great teacher in the Bible called Nicodemus. He once comes to Jesus and says, "How can I be born again? At this old age of mine, shall I again go back to a mother's womb and be born again? How can it be happen?" But Jesus said, "No, no, no. That is a wrong doctrine. It's a wrong. That is a wrong. That is a wrong logic. That is wrong thing that you have heard and you have learned. You one who wants to wants to enter the kingdom of heaven, that is a born again. He has to be baptized in the water and in the Holy Spirit." That's what Jesus says. Hallelujah. John chapter 3 verse 5. Hallelujah. My friend, today I want to encourage you. Your completeness comes when you follow Jesus. Your completeness comes when you start practice trusting in Jesus. Your completeness comes when you start standing on the word of God, this Bible, as a firm foundation. Your completeness of life comes when you, hallelujah, when you start, when you start following Jesus. And you know, you know, you know, and you get, you get, you get, and you believe, you believe, you believe, and then you confess that you have entered into a life which is complete. There's no lack, there's no dirt, there's no shortage. Yes, maybe there are sicknesses because I told you that the devil, who is the enemy of God, he started attacking the first creation, human creation. Yes, he's the same devil, is still walking, as the Bible says, that your enemy, devil, is moving like a roaring lion. Yes, to look out, look for someone that he can devour. Yes, he is planning. He is planning every moment. Anything but what you have got. You have got the blood of Jesus with you. What you have got. You have got the word of God in you. What you have got. You have got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You have got the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You have got resurrection power. You have got the presence of Jesus. And by that I tell you today that you are being made new. You are being made complete. And I know and I tell you with my personal life and my family's life that I have seen and the ministry that God has given us all over the world. I have seen myself that people are coming with so many things but they are going back. It is not the miracle that you need. It is a miracle of salvation that you need my friend. I tell you today that you need a miracle of salvation. Jesus has made you complete. You are complete in Jesus. Who is speaking? Who is telling this? He has got a personal experience. Hallelujah. He, is the, he was the man who was highly placed in the local government. He was the person he wanted to he wanted to finish up the Christian community. <coughs> he was the person 
who had got who received license from the roman roman government authority to finish of the entire christian community he pulled up a strategy he formed a strategy he started working on the strategy hallelujah and then started on the work started working on the way to damascus and then and then and then suddenly something happens from the heaven hallelujah and he hears the voice that somebody says that yes o shall o shall why are you persecuting me hallelujah he says who are you lord he says who are you lord he says i am jesus christ of nazareth i am jesus christ of nazareth he says i am jesus whom you are persecu whom whom you are persecuting it is hard for those to kick against the pricks hallelujah and then jesus says to saul the persecutor he says arise and go into the city and it shall be told this what you must do hallelujah he says arise he is asking us to change your position a position of complacence a position of com a position of satisfaction a position of well to do living in the world he says arise change your position change your position and give me a new position and to the new position my friend you are become a portion of god and by that by that identity by the new 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 uh, new new i don't you are becoming hallelujah you are becoming oh jesus you are becoming a portion of god a child of god and you have got a power of attorney you have got a power of attorney jesus says what i do you will do and better things you will do if jesus has raised up a dead you can also have a dead hallelujah in a village in andhra pradesh when i was ministering all sunday we are ministering and then in the early morning of monday when i was trying to take rest then suddenly the pastor comes and says pastor they are brought to dead bodies i said what is this lord lame what blind saw they heard it's okay it has happened no problem but dead bodies to be raised up oh god god says go in my name you are complete so you have to make these two people complete hallelujah you have the authority you have the power of attorney i read in jesus name and he moved the people who were gathered there and crying so that bodies and i told them you to go god is going to raise up hallelujah i said rise up in jesus name and i tell you today in today after so many years when i think of that incident i get shivering i get so excitement hallelujah that two dead bodies started rising up god is a god of perfection god is a god of something that is called complete i tell you the paul the saul he was saul persecutor because the apostle and then he was also he didn't have a good life he had left a good life a life of well to do ness a life of comfort a life he used to enjoy before but he started getting into confrontation he started getting into persecutions he started getting into so much trouble struggle yes he prayed yes so many things but today when you read his words when you read the when you read the epistles he has written you understand that how much jesus loved him and the same jesus of paul same jesus who transformed shawl into paul wants to also transform me today my brother you are a christian you are going to the church you are reading the word you are praying but you are not understand the reality of being a christian you understand today i was i was transformed from another religion to christianity which is not a religion i i used to pray i used to give my testimonies and through my testimonies so many people in that place used to come to jesus but my life was not changed in one way certain things certain habits i had which i could not give up god spoke to me so many times god spoke to me so many times but i did not pay heed to him and one day god started disciplining me hallelujah and that was very difficult it says no book of hebrews god says to adam adam where are you in the book of genesis chapter 3 verse 9 he says adam where are you was not god was was god ignorant of adam adam's where were positioning was god uh, was god uh, ignorant of where adam was no but god was telling him adam you have lost my presence you have gone away from my relationship but i told you not to do that you have done you have disobeyed me 
But today, Adam, I want you to come back to me. That's why I've come down to a philosophy with you for restoration. Same God of Adam. Same is your God. Same eternal God. The, the God, the God who is the first and the last. The same God who is, who is the Bible says that Jesus Christ is, is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And the same Jehovah God who is Jesus in the New Testament, in the book of Old Testament, Jesus was Jesus was concealed, and in the book of New Testament, Jesus is revealed. And the, the Jehovah God, the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ of New Testament, He comes and He says, "Hallelujah, O oh, you, my child, why are you why are you running away?" Why? You were a born Christian or you are a, even a born again Christian. But what is the relationship with me? I want you to be complete. I want you to be complete. Complete in power. Complete in authority. Complete in reality. Complete in prosperity. Complete in, yes, complete in your worldly living and worldly positions. Hallelujah. I know a CEO of a big multinational company who, hallelujah, who is a Christian. He, he was not believing in the, in, in, in the, he was not believing Jesus. He, he was a Christian, but he was not believing in Jesus properly. He was not doing things the right way. One day, one day suddenly a man of God comes and tells him, to him and he is going to take you into a new dimension. He says, I don't care. What I am, I am. I am happy. I know. Yes, I, I do a lot of charities. I do a lot of things. But he says, no, that's not all. Not by your work of your righteousness, the Bible says. Not by the work of your righteousness, but by the regeneration, hallelujah, but by yes, the word, uh, water, baptism of water and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you have to be convicted and get to the completeness of life. Something happened in his life, his wife died, his children died in an accident, and the same year he undergone, he underwent a heavy loss, and suddenly, and suddenly he was convicted by the Holy Spirit, was crying, oh God, his conscience pricked him, and he said, his conscience said, yes, you have done some mistake, then again he went to the pastor and the man of God and said, man of God, can you pray for me? The man of God said, now is the time that you are becoming complete. God is taking into a revolution. God is taking into a new dimension. God is taking into a new position. God is taking into a position. All relationships are being his portion. And he started. Hallelujah. And today we know what he has been. Hallelujah. God says that I am a God of restoration. My desire for you because I created you in my image. I did not want to play with you. It was not that I did not have any time. That's why I, I spent some time to create you. No. I created you from the dust. And you will again go to the dust. <clears throat> Hallelujah. He, I formed you. And then I breathed in you. And in your nostrils. And then you became a living soul. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. You have been breathed into your nostrils. You know by Trent. My friend, you're watching this program. My friend, you're listening to this message. I'm telling you from a personal life. Every single word that I'm telling you is on the context of my personal life that God has given me for 27 years. In the corporate world and also in the ministry. Yes, it is not the money. Of course, money is needed. And that is supplied by God. You never know when my son could not pay his college fees, when my elder son could not pay his fees, when my younger son could not enter into the engineering course. God, I, we just prayed, Lord, where is it? I'm a simple minister of yours. I don't have any mission to supply me the money. I don't have anybody to support me financially. I let my job, I let my everything to serve you, Lord. Now you take care. God said, you are complete in me. Today, I glorify God for all that we are. Hallelujah. God has blessed us. Hallelujah. The, my, my, we, the road that we have one day, we have one day, didn't have money to hire an auto. To go today, we God has allowed us to cars to drive. Hallelujah. I challenge you, my friend. I challenge you. Take yourself into Jesus. Understand the reality of living in the world is not that all that you have to have. It is not the completeness of your life. Yes, you may be something. I tell you, you may be an artist. You may be somebody highly educated, as I told you, a big scientist. You may be a big philosopher. You have logics to, un to, to, to justify yourself. But I tell you something, the word of God is above all. The word is God, word of God is not a philosophy, is not a word of God, is not a dogmatic religion, religious preaching. The word of God is living and powerful and the same word, hallelujah, who became flesh 2000 years ago and manifested 
the glory of the Father and that same word be dwelt among us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are many things we have to we can speak. But I tell you something as the time is coming near to close. I tell you something that God is trying to tell you today that you have to change yourself. Ask yourself what you're doing. You may be a Christian or you may not be a Christian. But I tell you something. What is your mind speaking? Are you suffering? Are you suffering from a disease? I tell you, I can see somebody. I can see somebody that has been suffering. A lady of 65 years of age. Yes, your name is Bimla. I don't know who, who are you. I don't know whether you are watching this program or not. But you are here in the same Adilabad district. Hallelujah. You are somewhere. I tell you something, Sister Bimla, one day God will come to you and convict you if you are not watching this program. Or anybody will come to tell you who has watched this program that you are having a problem in your right knee of arthritis. And doctors have told you, no, it cannot be cured. But I tell you in Jesus' name, you are cured because Jesus wants you to be absolutely complete. You are complete in Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, you are complete in Jesus. You are complete in Jesus. You are buried in baptism. That's the process. The death of Jesus. Then you are you have risen up. You are resurrected with Jesus Christ. Who has resurrected Jesus Christ? Turn your Bible to the book of Romans 8.11. It is again. It is again saying that. Yes, it is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say with me. Holy Spirit. Say with me, my friends. Holy Spirit. Yes. Come, Holy Spirit, and touch each one of us. Say, Holy Spirit, come. Transform me. Come, Holy Spirit. Take us into a reality of being complete. Hallelujah. Whoever we are, whatever we are, friends, we have to be complete. And that alone Jesus can do. Hallelujah. Yes. Deuteronomy 36 says, yes, the Lord your God is circumcised your heart. There's a Jewish ritual. There's, there's a Jewish ritual, religious procedure. That a child, male child, has to be has to be circumcised. That means removing the foreskin. Hallelujah. But but the Bible says that Jesus Christ, when he was on the cross, he broke all the traditions. Now today you need a circumcision of your heart. Hallelujah. The change of the foreskin of your heart. Your heart is covered by the worldly nature. Your heart is coated with something which is from the which is for the world. And my heart was that. And I know today, I know today that there's a transformation is coming up on you. The transformation, if this word has touched you, say hallelujah. If this word, if this word has touched you, just just give it, give it, give it, give it, give a few words of thanks to Jesus Christ. Leave a note to this pastor and say that yes, I am touched by this word. God will bless you. God will make you complete. You cannot know, you do not know. What will happen tomorrow? The tomorrow is a mystery. Yes, yesterday was a history. And today is history. History, hallelujah. That is why it is present. Amen. Hallelujah. You never know what is there in you. Tomorrow going to happen. You never know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What I know, I know, I know. That tomorrow is destined for you. Why God has kept a definite completeness in your life. And you will see tomorrow with a completeness. Either here or in the heaven. Either of it. Hallelujah. I tell you something today. That God wants you to be changed. Hallelujah. If you have been touched by this word. Just leave a word of thanks to Jesus. Hallelujah. To this pastor. And tell him yes pastor. We are touched by this word. And God will bless you. I tell you something. That God is going to bless you. God is, God is going to. God is, God is going to give you a new dimension. God is going to take you into another phase of life. And God is going to make you complete. I again emphasize, I again stress upon this word that you are complete in Jesus. If Saul the persecutor could be made an apostle, if, if Kunal Mukherjee, the one who is speaking to you today, who was a man of the world, who was a drunkard, who was a man living in a comfort zone, utterly can today take the gospel around so many nations and speak about Jesus with authority, you also can be complete. The completeness of Jesus. Completeness of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's what I said. That Romans 6, 4 says, if you were baptized, if you are baptized with Jesus in the, in the, in the water, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the baptism of death, you will be resurrected. 
prepare yourself prepare yourself that what is there in store to for you from the heavenly is it come upon you today right today say lord today let us pray father in jesus name we come before you today lord asking for your grace and your mercy believing and confessing that oh father god you sent your only begotten son jesus 2000 years ago to die on the cross and then resurrected him by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah for us to be complete in ourselves we are complete the total complete life of ours yes lord jesus is from jesus the yes the fullness of god that dwells in jesus christ yes we have to have that fullness lord we are incomplete today because we are living in the world oh master lord touch us today lord touch everyone who has been listening to this message to our lord transform each one of us it is not that we are the preachers lord but it is that that jesus guys you are our god hallelujah we speak about you we witness you yes lord jesus we testify about you and we know that we you have kept a different lifestyle a different mindset a different a different pattern of living for us and we know we know we know and we believe we believe we believe your father that your god today in the at this moment you are going to perform a mighty miracle in the lives of the people who are sick in the, you are going to you are going to perform a different miracle that for the people in the lives of people who are needing finances who are having disturbance of peace in the family and we know lord that they will find something they will ask jesus christ yes that to come down and touch them and when they cry to you oh jesus you come down and touch them and we know lord that you will definitely put them into the completeness of the life lord there will be no more sickness there will be no more problems in the life there will be no more lack of dirt of finances lord i pray for the ministers of god i specially pray for pastor mcland sister mariam and the children and the family and the ministry oh lord that day will be increased oh lord they they are bound as will be in lords to master god they'll reach out to many nations oh father yes they will bring many souls many losing souls to your kingdom for the glory of jesus there is a lord lord i pray oh god that is so many years of oh god so many years we know each other but is the first time that we are ministering together and this is this is for something different yes lord jesus this that different different purpose that you have kept assigned for us oh lord both to do together we know lord there are many things that we can do together again father we pray that oh god you will definitely you will definitely send your angels now right now to guard this ministry lord there will be fire yes lord there will be fire from heaven oh father yes lord jesus and you will make us complete lord jesus i pray today as your servant with the authority that you have given lord that oh god we cancel every work and plan of the evil ones and no weapon form against any one of us will be prospered lord we pray that every evil <coughs> every evil will every evil plan every evil thing that that the every evil strategy that the devil that the evil one has that the enemy has tricked that the enemy has planned will be absolutely cancelled will be absolutely demolished in jesus mighty name and we know that there the completeness in our lives and we know that we are going each one of us are getting into new dimension and we know that we will be definitely seeing a new phase of our life a new beginning hallelujah your word says oh master that in second corinthians 5 verse 17 that anyone is in christ is a new creation old things have passed away and behold everything has become new lord we know that you are going to make everything new lord in your own life hallelujah yes lord as you have said in the book of revelation chapter 21 verse 5 that i will make new thing all things new all things new because you are not a god of partiality you are not a god of small things you are not going to do things in a small a small way you are going to do in a wholesome way lord in the entirety in the entirety you are going to do things in the entire way lord i know and i believe that you are doing something somebody definitely has been touched by the word that god has given to you my friend and if you have yes jesus if you have today a plan for somebody's life speak to that person speak to that sister speak to that brother i tell you that yes there is something happening yes lord jesus the completeness of life will come master we give you all the glory honor and praise we tell you lord that you are still you are still seated on the heavenly and interceding for each one of us and we know today that you have definitely done something because of the word that you have, you have, you have spoken to the holy spirit that yes that the god that you have doing you are doing something great and we know that yes 
Jesus Christ is still on the throne. You have not gone on a holiday. You have not, oh God, kept us incomplete. Your plan for us is to make complete, Lord. Father, today we give all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. We thank everybody. Whoever has heard this message. And, and God is going to bless you. I can tell you, go back home smilingly. I believe you have enjoyed this word. This is not a pre this is not the message I prepared beforehand because sister spoke to me. This is the morning when I was busy with some other things. I do a lot of Bible studies through our phone, and I didn't have any time to prepare, but I just spoke to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, sister, for that you have allowed me to minister with you. It's long awaited, long. For many years we have been talking about ministering together, but some other it doesn't sleep. But today I'm blessed. Um, thank yes, you, sister. Yes, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Thank you so much for coming to our broadcast and giving the word of no, God. No, no. We are blessed. No, no. We are blessed by the word of God. No, it is God. We are complete, yeah. sister. We are made complete in Jesus. This is the word God gave me. Anytime yeah. you feel like, just give, me, just give me two days' time. Nowadays, I'm at home only. So I uh, just give me two days' time. I will definitely pray and come online. Don't do it. Okay, you, okay, Pastor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much once again. Thank you so much. We will invite you once again to our broadcast and share the gospel that uh, sure. people may come in the presence of God. Sure. And please you, pray for our ministry also. I've been praying, sister. Even though we are not in touch regularly, but I have been. I have not stopped praying for you because we know each other as a co-workers. You are co-workers in the in the vineyard. When you pray for me, actually, I tell you some reason. Uh, I have been operated on my heart. This is a bypass surgery on 23rd of November. Oh. So I am not allowed to move out and preach much, uh, you know, scoutingly, normally as I pray, preach. But oh. this day, I am recovering, I'm almost recovered. 80%, 85% is recovered. Now I'm still recovering. So please don't pray because I have a lot of invitations. I, I cannot stop back at home uh, without preaching. So please pray in your personal prayers. And thank yeah. you, sister. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much. We will be praying for Morning. you, Pastor, that God may Please give be. you good health. Thank you. I must come. Yeah. I come back. I come to Hyderabad, don't worry. Okay, okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Pastor. You're mm -hmm. most welcome. I'm... You're most welcome. <laughs> okay. Take care, sister. God bless you. Give my regards yeah. to Pastor. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.